A specific time to get help after a heart attack can make all the difference between life and death. I had no, there's no family history. I really had no risk factors. Tonight in Healthline at 10 o'clock, Phil Renier has more on a new trend in heart medicine. It's called door to balloon time. We'll tell you what that is. Talk to the Baton Rouge man who says he's alive today because of it. You know, the quicker a heart attack victim gets to the hospital, the more likely that person is to survive. That's always been the case. Now a new trend in heart medicine called door to balloon time could improve your odds even more. WAP's Phil Renier explains. For heart attack victims, every second counts, and the clock doesn't stop ticking at the ER door. In fact, for doctors and nurses, it's just the beginning. They call it door to balloon time. Almost two hours. That's the time it used to take to get a patient from the ER to a cath lab like this, so doctors could use a tiny inflatable balloon to reopen clogged arteries and stop a heart attack. This is where the blockage is. This is the ballooning. You can see the blood flowing back into the heart. Joe Bonsignori was the patient. He thought his heart attack was just a bad case of heartburn right up until the balloon procedure. There's no family history. I really had no risk factors. Cath teams strive for a door to balloon time of 90 minutes or less. Bonsignori's lucky. He made it to the Baton Rouge General's cath lab in 47. It was almost like I felt the balloon pop and then it just, it was like a whoosh and every symptom and every symptom in my chest went away. As a result, Bonsignori not only survived his heart attack, there wasn't any muscle damage. It was as if he never had a heart attack at all. Most of the hospitals who do this kind of procedures uh, have a dedicated cath lab team who are available 24-7. And while most major hospitals do have door-to-balloon teams, doctors say that's no substitute for knowing the warning signs of a heart attack and calling 911 as soon as you notice them. With Healthline, Phil Rainier, WAFB 9 News.